The city of Belle Plaine handing out cases of bottled water to its residents for free right now. Belle Plaine has struggled to keep its underground water wells full after a farmer redirected waterways out of the city's wetlands years ago. And problems with the city's water supply became even more concerning due to this summer's drought. KCRG tv 9s Rebecca Vaughn joins us live in the studio with what Belle Plaine plans to do for a long-term solution. Yeah, Beth, the waterways being diverted are just a part of the story here. Belle Plaine has been facing water shortages for years now. Right now, they're in a D4 drought designation, which is the most intense on the scale. I never drank the Belle Plaine water. It's used it more or less for cooking, if, you know, and boiling and stuff like that. And then went to the laundry mat to do any cleaning. And Lindsay Wyland like lived within the city of Belle Plaine for about eight years. She moved to the outskirts of town earlier this year, but experienced discolored water in her tap frequently. Some days it was okay, other days a lot of muckiness, dirty, kind of smelly. Belle Plaine hasn't had enough water to flush the water mains as often as they want to. Regardless of what happens and what wells we're running, we would normally flush it twice a year. Because of the drought situation we're in, we've only been able to flush it one time in the last half a dozen years. The city has been assigned a task force through Homeland Security to help tackle the problem. For a quick fix, the city is handing out drinking water for free, but it's looking for long-term solutions. We received a $250,000 grant from the DNR to restore our wetland around the well field that will provide recharge into that aquifer. That would be something that we're going, we, we are already working on. Another long-term goal, building the water treatment plant for the deep water well. That will really help us have better water security and a lot better water quality. Beck said that residents who have water filters or softeners that are sized correctly aren't having problems with their water. But Wyland says that isn't an option for everyone. I rented an apartment and we had no filtration centers, so we got, basically got what we got, you know, it wasn't very good water. Now that water is safe to drink according to the DNR, but the city is still offering free bottled water to residents who are seeing that discolored water. Live in the studio, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV 9 News.